did you want to ask Conan? I, I'm fascinated by certain aspects of his life. So Conan, the other thing I wanted to ask you was, you know, Howard, I guess, when you first started, predicted you wouldn't last long. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of did. I think he threw a party. I think he threw a "You're Getting Cancelled" party, no, which I attended, which I thought was very big of me. Is this like an appearance to say, "Hey, look, I'm still around"? Or what? No. You know? <laughs> if I have to tell people at this point that I'm still here, I, I, I'm cancelled anyway. Uh, Is it here to brag to Howard a little bit? No, you know? no. Yeah, that's a good strategy. I'm going to go in and brag to Howard about my success at 12:30 at night. No, uh, I just like doing the show and. You know, they said you want to come do the show, and yeah. So no, I think it would be uh, uncalled for to go in and start bragging. I lucked out. I'll admit it. Gary is bringing in Conan O'Brien right now. Oh, there he is! Look at that. Him, right? That's him. That's the guy actually on Down TV. The block. Conan O'Brien. Tall guy. You know, you forget how tall. Conan he is. is very tall. Conan, what's the matter? You look sad. He looks <laughs> I half woke asleep. Up. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I literally about eight minutes ago woke up and ran in. You know, I said to Gary, I said, we used to have Conan on all the time when no one liked him. Now everybody likes him. We should have him on again. Exactly. Now you're so like to go against those trends. I yeah. Know. <laughs> it's a waste of time for me to be here, you know, when it's nice. Right. Let's get the Jackie puppet out and ream me. <laughs> exactly. what do you say? Wasn't that the best? That was funny. I, hey, I, we showed the clip on the show. That was great. Did I you, enjoyed it. All right, here's what I wanted to ask you. Let's get right to it. We, I had on Lisa Kudrow, who was your girlfriend for years. Yeah. All right. I had her. I had uh, Lisa. Uh, no, 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 no. Technically not girlfriend for years. We were friends for a long time. But and then, then you, became you became girlfriend boyfriend and, boyfriend. and girlfriend. Yes. For True. A brief time. All right. Here's what I can't figure out. Yeah. Unless she was lying to me, but I don't think she was. She was telling us in all she, sincerity. What did she tell you? All right. She said when she got married, she was a virgin. She oh. told you that on the radio? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right here in the studio. In the studio. Right. Was she horrible in bed? Tell the truth. He had to be bad because otherwise you would have moved to New York. Tell the truth. He didn't turn you on that much. Or you did he? just kept it by coastal. You two could have flown back and forth. Here's here's my yeah, here's here's my vibe on uh, Conan. Just blink once if I'm right. Uh, <laughs> wait, you ready? You get in bed with a guy. Pretty much straight sex. Uh, not too wild. He'll nibble around a little bit, oh. but he won't go all the way. Uh, you know, and it's kind of similar each time. And uh, it's like a chore. When he takes his clothes off, it isn't all that exciting. Well, I have to tell you, I remember having a fine time. Really? Mm -hmm. But not in love with him. Mm -hmm. He couldn't make you love him. See? Well, who was no, this guy who married to, you? I don't know what to say. What? What do you mean who you don't know what to say? Who was this guy who was better than <laughs> he, he, Conan? He couldn't close the deal. <laughs> That's not, but it's not true, really. I bet you, A. I had a huge crush on him. We were best friends. Yeah, but the sex ruined it. I true love. I mean, I really, you really did? this is it. Yeah. You could have been Mrs. O'Brien. Well, you know, when you're friends with someone, you think, well, this has to be the best relationship you're ever going to have in your life. Right, right, right. So, but, you know, mm. that's not always true. Sometimes you're just supposed to be friends. So, mm. how What's could... What's the deal? Uh, yeah. I'm impotent. No, you know you're not. <laughs> you're not impotent. <laughs> you are? I tried several times, and I just couldn't. No, seriously, you, you had sex with her, right? Well, please, a gentleman doesn't tell tales. Yeah, but, I mean, when you say you were her boyfriend... How long were you together? I'm very, uh, I'm a very religious Catholic. All right, how long were you her boyfriend? I don't know. I think we went out for a couple of months. All right, maybe. so in other words, you had sex with her. Oh, please, Howard. Yeah. You right. know what? We're no, we weren't married. I don't believe in premarital sex. And kids out said. there, if you're listening, it's wrong. Save yourself. I understand yourself. what he's saying. Everybody thought it was such a, a weird thing that Conan left Los Angeles and came to New York and took this job and dumped his girlfriend. But now it's all making sense to me. What, what makes she sense? She wasn't giving it up. But she gave you fellatio, right? Oh, yeah. What is that exactly? You know what fellatio is. <laughs> you know. Don't don't play naive with me. Don't give me that uh, Irish innocence. No, how do you know it's not true? How do you know that I'm not horribly repressed and dysfunctional? You don't know. You don't know the real me. Because another woman's with you now. <laughs> no, because I believe... How do you know that's going so well, Robin? No, because I, I believe that you do have a healthy sexual appetite. I believe that maybe you, you and Lisa... You don't look like a frustrated guy. But, but then I was yeah. thinking about... I didn't even ask Lisa about this because I was like, well, okay, you were a virgin when you got married. And, and she was she was quite sincere about it. And I'm saying, then, then after she left, I go, wait a second. Conan told me he went out with her for a couple of months. That was her last boyfriend. <laughs> you, you act like I was bragging on I'm the like, corner. I'm like... A sexual Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, you are. You know, like, that's what I really admit. You're like a, a sexual Columbo. You're very good. <laughs> I keep mean, coming I, back. I'm saying, unless Andy Richter was doing you uh, to keep oh. you happy, I think that you were having sex with her. Well, it's the Andy thing's possible. Would you? It's possible. You. Would you be a, a boyfriend for months and and go without intercourse? Oh man! Did are I you say a, months? It was a short time that we. Are went you technically out. a boyfriend if you don't have intercourse? Yeah. 
Oh, man. Well, uh, who can say? You're very good. I, I, I'm stunned at how good you are. You know, Thank he's you. having trouble. I mean, it's really like a laser beam. No. I swore, because I, I knew that you had talked about this earlier. About, right. Uh-oh. There's Uh-oh. a news flash in here. Uh-oh. He's here's got a call from somebody. So, so here's the deal, Howard. Oh, this go is, ahead. This is, I just went to our computer. It was Lisa <laughs> did it. <laughs> I did our <laughs> sex computer. The bat computer. <laughs> bat sex Can you computer. imagine what's in this computer? <laughs> I looked up, Conan oh, doesn't get laid. All right. And it says, Lisa Kudrow. It was in the news. It was a news story. Robin said she was interviewed by W Magazine. She married Michael Stern in 1995. She said she was a virgin. She had a relationship with Conan O'Brien. She said that Conan broke her heart. He lived with her and Not never her had. Hymen, he her lived heart. with her and never had sex. Very with good, her. Robin. Wow. You Rob- live with. Wait, hold it. Hold wait, 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 wait. Back up. I did what? Lived with. Wait, hold. You, you live with no. her. No, and I didn't live with her. That's that's not true. I didn't right. live with. I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. You- <All> right. <laughs> are you gay? <laughs> are you gay, man? Today I am. Yeah. You are. No, yeah. you are not gay. No. Have you ever had a homosexual not. experience? Never. Okay. But I've thought about it. You have. No. How long have you gone without sex? <laughs> All right, we're gonna wheel in a lie detector right now. Let's. I will do it right now. <laughs> so you would take a lie. Yeah, detector. I would take a lie detector. You would. No, no, no. Whatever. I just gotta back up whatever Lisa's saying. A hundred percent. That's the kind of guy I am. No, I don't like this interview, and I don't like the way it's going. I don't. I don't. I really. Sorry. Don't. I'm sorry, Sherlock. No, wait so a second. Bring in the nipple clamps. Right. You know You're what you gotta do? Me. You gotta get Lisa did on the Lisa, phone. You did gotta Lisa, get Lisa on the phone. Did Lisa perform fellatio on you? No. Oh, Interesting. That was a yes. Oh, please. So you're telling me that for months, <laughs> while you didn't live with her, you uh-huh. were her boyfriend. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I didn't live with Did her. Did you consider her your girlfriend? Oh, my God. This is going horribly. It's an easy question. <laughs> oh, come on. I Let's thought be we'd honest. come in here and talk about all the good times we had together. We're adults. We are adults. I know, but I whatever Lisa, I don't Let's know what Lisa said. Let's start at the beginning. Can we get but Lisa you, on the phone? Yes. Gary, get Lisa on the phone if you can. <laughs> not sure that's going to go really well. Well, I mean, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, Do you have her home Howard. phone number? It's 6 o'clock. We, we probably do. She'll yeah. be home. No, I don't have her home number, Howard. All right. Are you and uh, Max Weinberg that? lovers? Yes. Oh, oh. You are. Uh, Can't you tell Max there's a tension there? Ah, yes. He's looking awfully cute. All right. <laughs> Who, you like Conan? Yeah. No, I said I oh, saw Max. Max the other day, and he's oh, looking please. awfully cute. Hey. Max hasn't looked cute since 1943. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. Conan. Yes. All right. What you're saying is the following, if I can understand this. My audience needs clarification. All right. All right. I guess what I'm saying is, who am I to say? That's what I'm so saying. So you feel uncomfortable talking about the whole thing? I feel that it's not my place. All right. If Lisa's All made right. a statement, I should back oh. it up 100%. Here is the statement she made. Yeah. She was a virgin when she got married, and that you broke her heart. Let me see that interview. Where is it? Have you got a copy of it? Yeah. Gary, bring it well, in. We only have I mean, our, I, I should have time to prepare my defense. No, it's not a defense. It's being honest. But here's my contention. It's being honest. Howard. Yeah. I, I know it runs. Yeah. If it was true, you would be doing Lisa a huge favor to say, yes, it is true. Uh, we never had sex. Never had sex. Really? Not, not to lie, Conan. No. <laughs> you just said. I, I could say that. <laughs> no, I didn't say you could no. say it. Andy Richter had anal with her, I think. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> yes, What was Lisa That was too to? shocking, Howard. Right? That's a shocking I have revelation. to leave now. What no. was Lisa open to doing? You have a girlfriend now, right? Yes. You've had sex with her, I assume. Y- yes, you I You live have. with her. All right. Her. You live with her. Yes. Will you ever get married? No. Yes. You will? Yeah, I think I would. I'd like to get married. You Are you going to be yeah. one of those guys who waits until you're like 50 to start having children? No, I don't think so. I, I'm, Are you going to be I'm, embarrassing I'm, like Larry King and have your first <laughs> child at like 80? <laughs> or Tony Randall? Larry King is my role model for these kinds of things. I'll sure. marry four times. Uh, no, I, I think I'd like to do that. I just can't imagine living, all right, practically live living with, with a girl. Her. And being a boyfriend. What are you talking about? I wasn't practically. We went for out for a very short period of time. Not Things long enough happen, to have but, uh, Right, but not intercourse. Fair to say. Howard, can I ask you a question? Well, wait. Conan's um, saying something, I think. He just said... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> not intercourse. Oh, God. Right. It sounds like she wanted him to marry her. Mm-hmm. Who's that? No, Lisa. she was... I don't buy that. Who was just speaking? Jackie. Jackie. Where is Jackie? Not Jackie Puppet, but I Jackie. Know. Oh, hey, Jackie. How are you? I really thought... That's what it sounds like. But how can a girl It was such a home? short period of time. How can What's a girl a what? How can a girl get... Oh, like a month and a half. How can a girl what? How can a girl get her heart broken... By a man she hasn't even had sex with. Because this good girl point. isn't having sex with anybody. That was good. Well, yeah, but she maybe, wanted him to marry her so they could have Maybe he sex. didn't want to have sex with her. Ah. 
You crazy? Yeah, I'm you're a guy. What, what are you, insane? So you did want to have sex with her. Yeah. I'm getting the impression that Lisa didn't even know she wasn't in a relationship, uh, that this is all a fantasy in her mind. Oh, maybe she's oh. sick. Yeah. She's a very oh. sick woman. It all stems from the interview. I've got to see the interview. I've got to go over it and then prepare to find All right. You want back. to prepare for your deposition. Yeah, exactly. Is that what you're saying? You can't you have not. You have not provided me any But you materials. know what really happened. I mean, you do have I a know what really of happened. Yeah. Is it, so is it somewhat inaccurate to, to paint you as the boyfriend, that you are her you boyfriend? Her. No, you, we were. Few dates with her. We, no, it was a little more than that. Yeah. It was. It was a little more serious than that. Yeah, yeah. And how did you break her heart? I mean, I don't. Uh, who knows? I right. Very painful time. Women I got this get job overnight. I had to come uh, to uh, New York. Maybe she felt you got your job and then you dumped her. That's like, what I figure. Yeah, no, it wasn't that though. I knew she was going places. Right. I've been smart. You would have stayed with her. Well, I mean, she's one of the friends. She's got a movie career. That's true. Look at me, twelve thirty at night. Who watches that? Well, you're show? making three million a year. That's pretty impressive. Okay, three million. Yeah, you're not, not making bad. three million. Uh, you're making three million. I know what you make. Trust you know me. know what I make? Because I know you're people who work good. in the network. All right. I know exactly what you make. That's I know how long good, your right? deal is. I know everything. How long is my deal? This one that you have now? Yeah. I think you had a five-year deal. That's right. Yep. <laughs> At about three million a year. Very good. Yeah. I know what's going on. So, would, did he have sex with Lisa or not? Since you yes, she did. He did. Yeah. So she was not a virgin when she got married. That is correct. That is in his deal as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know everything about That's him. a codicil to the deal. That's right. in the deal memo. Yeah. It was the same deal offered to me to have sex with Lisa oh, really? Kudrow if I did the thing. radio show here. Uh-huh. That's right. Very nice. That's right. All right. Now the television show is doing well. I guess. Right? I mean, they're not talking about replacing you every week and all that kind well, of been stuff. Quite, they haven't talked about that for a while. Right. So yeah. you're doing well now. Yeah. You're relatively happy. Yeah. Well, you right. know what it's like. Every day, an hour. It's hard. You got to do it. Yeah. Well, you're winning Emmys and stuff now, right? No, we never won an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> you got Robin, nominated. why? Why bring that up? We get nominated. Why are you not having sex with different women? At this point, you're famous. You have, uh, you're single. You have well, I'm not money. single. I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend right. I love. She's great. How long has this girlfriend been around? We've been around together for like four and a half years. Five really? Years, yeah. Yeah, as soon as he dumped uh, Lisa, he got mm. this girl. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the one who worked on the show? Not quite chronologically <laughs> correct, but... Is that the one who worked on the show? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You never date any models or famous Never chicks. did that. Never did never. that. Never. You're not yeah. curious to do that. I uh, didn't say that. There's always right. part of you, as you know, but then there, you, get the, uh, you get the grounding, you get the love, you get the stability from the girlfriend. Right. So you like You that. give that up. It's the constant and yin-yang and those of Those are the things you need. You those recognize the, that you need that. Exactly. Those are the things that, uh, that you know, and you're always going to fantasize about... Uh, you know, Why not get that out of your system so that actually one day maybe you'd be prepared for a very deep, meaningful, loving relationship? I may be uh, ready to do that now. I'm but how be ready long for the, before he gets married? They've been together four years? He's in no rush. But what? I mean, what is that? Why Robin, would you get, you know what? Robin, Why get married? Can Robin, I say something? the pressures of the show. <laughs> Why? Yeah, exactly. Entertaining. Sure, sure, sure. Is this the Jackie Puppet? Here? Yes, it is. Can I hold it? Yes, you can. You can <laughs> put it on your lap. <laughs> I feel... Punch it if you want. But what no, you, no, it was a special time. What for does me. your penis tell you? I mean, does it say we don't want... speak often? <laughs> He's pissed. My penis is so mad. Well, at this me. girl must be pretty spectacular. My, if your penis has frozen me out. But, it, but this girl must be pretty spectacular. She's if, great. In fact, you're a resisting model. I know that, that you're very uh, aware that you could have models. And... But look at, sure, I mean, seriously, Howard. Let's talk. You're a handsome her. guy. Yeah, but you're in the same boat as me. You've got, yes. You're with topless women all the time. You're hanging right. out at scores. You're right, and it's life. difficult. What is it, Baba Booey? Go ahead, say it. How dare you? come in here and then leave. No, I was going to say that, I, you know, I got my hair cut a couple of weeks ago, not the makeover. Right. And I was uh, getting Baba my hair cut next Baba to Bowie. a good friend of Conan's girlfriend. Right. Baba and, Bowie. you know, she'd give me an earful. But very nice woman. What was the earful? The important thing for me to know is that Conan is a very nice, grounded guy. Mm-hmm. And that so is his girlfriend. And she's not in it because he's a celebrity. Oh, she doesn't really uh, love the whole celebrity thing. No, not at all. No. <laughs> she doesn't. I swear yeah, to yeah. Nothing to do the with that. The money thing she might like, but I don't no. think she likes the whole, that hey, look, there's that the guy. Yes, she does. Of course, every woman likes that. To, to, to be with your a guy. wife likes that. My wife, your wife said, likes it when people come up to you at the Red Lobster and say, yeah, she "Sign gets, my napkin." No, she enjoys my success. Yes, well, that's different than liking the celebrity part of it. No, but, but she married. My gonna, wife is different. My wife married me when I was twenty-two years old, and nobody knew you. Nobody knew me. He right. had no job even. You hooked up with your girlfriend when you got a network television show. Of that's course, right. that's part of who you are. That's why she digs you. Do you think that's why she likes me? That's a very big part of it. Are yes. you recommending I break up? No. Yes. No. no, no. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Go ahead. I'm listening. 
Because I think you won't feel fulfilled until you experience the power of your fame and the incredible opportunity to date some of the most beautiful women in the world. Well, you're acting as if this is going to last. He's been with her for four years and managed not to be married. He will. And so I don't think this is the girl. And he will never marry because I'll tell you why. He's got too many opportunities. And why get married? But what I'm not taking point? those opportunities. You will, though. You're enjoying her now, but you will eventually suck the life out of her. <laughs> and you will move on to someone and else. cast her aside. Absolutely. A husk. <laughs> Absolutely. He you know, I may not be... children, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'd, I'd be sort of into having kids. You I'm, would. I could be the, uh, as long as the you late night talk show host who has, like, a kid. You know? As long as you have to... You see, but that's the problem. You're looking at it like, hmm, that'd be interesting to be the late night talk show host who has a kid. Exactly. <laughs> from I'm looking at it from a publicity standpoint. That's what I'm saying. And you really are. My, I've talked to PMK. No, no, you really are this. looking at it that way. Right. It's a career And that's move. the problem. So what's the answer? You're saying the answer is to start dating. Yes. Yes. Because what kind you, of women? If I was you, first yeah. I would date actresses mm -hmm. and models. But, but they're, they're crazy. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> that crazy. What, you're not crazy? Well, they, you know. Who isn't mean? crazy? All right. So crazy. Well, crazy. Who's crazy? I'm not talking about marriage. I'm talking about dating. Okay. Gotcha. And I think you ought to do that. And I think you ought to be seen on the town with these girls. And I think you'll have a great time. Did and show up at like award ceremonies with, you know, just a different woman every That's time. That's right. right. Did a you Carmen Electra. You don't think so that, what's wrong with that? I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. I'm just that trying to get it right. You don't find that appealing. Oh. No, I didn't say that. I mm -hmm. said that this sounds uh, interesting. Did I mean, you just hear that story about some Sylvester Stallone having a girl behind three different doors. Yeah. What is wrong? You know, every guy will say, well, you know. I didn't hear that. Like, story. everyone will go, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> you know, what's with this guy? He's insatiable. Yeah. No. Every door, he, he had a girl in the bathroom naked. He had a girl in his bedroom naked. And another door behind another door. And they're behind girl. three different, it's like a game yeah. show. And like, a, there's a woman behind each door. But this is going on in his house. And they're all waiting for him. Incredible. Right. It's unbelievable. Let's take some phone calls for Conan O'Brien. By the way, Conan O'Brien, watch him every night on NBC. Thank you. And, uh, of course, what's his name is guy now? Tom Snyder. He's uh, in he's a couple of weeks. There, he's yeah. still there for a couple of weeks. Too bad. You'd like him to stay Are because he's so horrible. Are you worried about this Craig Kilborn? Are you worried? I don't, I don't know that guy too well. I actually don't I don't, don't either. Know. So we'll see. But, you know, he's got a following, young, sexy, well, you know. Well, let's face again. it. What's scary about it is that this is a guy who might put some effort into his show. Tom Snyder was a lazy old man right. with very badly stained teeth. <laughs> and, his, yeah, his oh. and, you know, Craig, you know. Like, <laughs> I mean, were they bad? I, I never noticed that. You know what happens? Sometimes I'm up, I'm watching your show, right? Yeah. You go to a commercial. And I'll say to myself, hey. I don't like Conan's guest or something. I'm going to switch over. Right. I switch over, and there is a disturbing close-up. I swear to you, I have no agenda with Tom Snyder. He's probably a nice guy. Very nice guy. They put the camera right on that puss. First of all, pull the camera back a little bit. Do a nice three-quarter shot. Yeah, they got a close-up. Yeah, that linoleum you put on that? He's got a flap of skin under his... Now, listen, I ain't saying I'm a beauty, but I know to keep... If you notice when you watch my TV show, the camera is all the way off far right. You never see a close-up on my face because it's disturbing. I know I'm disturbing to look at. I, I am. And I keep it off to you my right side. You are not. Uh, well, you're kind. Thank you. I can see why Lisa Kudrow fell in love with you. <laughs> and when you leave, I you find you very attractive, yeah. But anyway, yeah. I tune in, and Tom Snyder has a big, he loves to talk, and he has, he pontificates, and, and he tells stories. Are going. The he has long fingers like Ooh. this. His teeth are stained, I guess, from nicotine. Is he a smoker? I'm not sure. Yeah, but it looks and like then it. And the dewlap. He's a beef eater, I'm and sure. He's, yeah, yeah, and he's got the dewlap and his skin, and he's got a flap of skin it's under his neck. The gray dewlap, the black eyebrows. And then he begins to laugh at his jokes and uh, <laughs> Suzanne Summers. And it is a disturbing program to look at. <laughs> Zachary was cuter. But it's captivating. Tutor, but captivating. No, it's no, not. Okay. It's not. You know what? If it's a really good guest, I can hang in for five minutes. But it is impossible to watch the show. I defy you to watch it. I've watched it. I don't want to watch my show. I, I check out his show a lot. Yeah, because you know why? You feel safe watching it. If it was a really good show, you'd be nauseous, and you'd say, oh, my God, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> now, I can't believe you have not watched Craig Kilburn. No, no, no. I've, seen the, I've seen the Daily Show. Of course but this is going to be a very different thing, so I don't know. I don't think so. I think it'll be the same. It'll be like your show. It'll be, a, you know, I'll have guests, and right, he'll do right. bits, comedy bits. And he'll bits. do we'll his five questions. Yeah. We will see. Believe me, it's so late at night, nobody cares what happens. <laughs> That's right. I refuse to <laughs> I, re I refuse to fight over 1230. Yeah, exactly. Like you, when you hear about the 1130 wars, you think, all makes right, sense. it makes sense. It's right. a valuable time period. No one's going to fight over 1230. Well, in a sense, you also have a much better position. Jay uh, is a bigger lead-in. 
Although not that much bigger a lead-in. Jay loses a lot of audience throughout The Tonight Show. Does he really? Yeah. I'm learning uh, incredible amounts on yeah. this show. Yeah, what, what, what happens Towards the is, end when they show jazz? Let me tell you why Jay beats Dave. You okay. want to know why? Yeah, I do. Right. It's not this that is great. Jay, I've, I've never talked this little in an interview, but please continue, oh, master. It's not that Jay <laughs> is a great performer. We yeah. all know that. Right. Uh, it's not that Dave is some mind-blowing performer. Both shows are a B-level program. They're okay. They're nice, comfortable programs. I don't know about B level. I don't know about well, okay. sh- uh, you know, come on. Fine programs. Mm-hmm. They're I'm okay. Talk shows. Jay, be an Jay is a horrible program. interviewer. Dave is a little bit better in interview. Jay does a better monologue than Dave, but both monologues are weak. Yes, yes. That's it. Come on. Yeah, I, Let's be honest. I don't know. I, you know, are those guys putting out a hundred percent? No way. How do you know that's not their hundred percent? They're out there every night I for mean, an Dave's hour. Howard. Kicking himself for his uh, show every night. Well, yeah, because so don't you think it's his these are the two percent? hardest working guys in show business. If Dave had a natural charisma or Jay had a natural charisma, they wouldn't have to work so hard. I see. Right. There, there, there's no magic. First of all, Jay's interviews are so scripted now. Am I right? It's yeah. so scripted. It's like, so tell me, uh, I understand you like to babysit when you were young. What's it, this I hear about? Yeah, Everybody yeah. does a Jay Leno impression. Well, I do a horrible one. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it. <laughs> At the Tonight Show, the guard on the and way Jay, in goes, oh, you're doing Jay? Oh, well, I have a good time. Hope you have you know, everyone's got one. And Jay is no beauty. He should wear a Tom Snyder mask. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So what I'm saying happens is Jay has a big lead in. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jay has a big lead in. Right. Right. anything. And, uh... What happens is he gets about a 10-share lead-in yes. to Dave's five. Mm. And what happens through the night is mm. Jay loses audience, yes. and Dave levels off at about a two. And two when they three. wind up, they're like a tenth of a point apart, right? Exactly. By the end right. of the night, they both have no audience. <laughs> so what you inherit is basically the same audience that, that this Kilborn fellow So what, what it comes down to is who can retain their audience better. Right. Is everyone paying attention out there? Yeah. This is or and you, now you have a, a unique opportunity. You can actually, you, you grab a lot more audience than Tom Snyder because Tom Snyder's so horrible. And what you want to do against Craig Kelborn mm-hmm. is do the same thing. Grab more. Grab more. Don't <laughs> settle for just your inheritance. Right. Grab more. Grab more as much retention as possible. Right. I love that the uh, this 20-minute lecture ended up with you telling me to get more audience than, <laughs> That's than it. the competition. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm glad I stopped by. It always ends I up in the same I place. studied at the feet of Les Moonves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he told me the same he thing. He told you that. Let's see if anybody wants to talk with you. All right. All right. You're on the air with Conan O'Brien. Frank? Yeah, hi, Howard. Hi. You're God. You rule, man. You're the best. Thank you. Listen, I saw Conan O'Brien's penis. And I believe that Lisa Kudrow's a virgin. Why? I think Jasmine how would you Claire first of all be a virgin after Conan? How would you see Conan's penis? No, Frank. I was out it. drinking <laughs> my buddies in Lincoln Center by some bars le- about a year ago, uh-huh. and they hallucinated it. By the way, this is John Stamos, very famous actor. <laughs> <laughs> and my drinking buddies and me, we have this thing that we do. What? Like when one of us goes to the bathroom, the other one will be right next next to him, and we'll say really loud, "Hey, man, you ain't got no penis." Just to embarrass each other. Conan, do you recall any of this? Uh, <laughs> vividly, yeah. <laughs> I hear that wherever I go, yeah. So, so I think my buddy's next to me, and I look over, and I say that, and I look up, and it's Conan O'Brien. Wow. Hey, well, where and I sh- and, and, and the confirmation is that I said what? Did I shout, you are right, sir? No, you zipped up so fast. That and ran had, away? He well, got caught in the zip, and he ran do out. Do you go to a girl. urinal, do you, or do you usually well, go to the stall? This? Elvis, by the way, always used the stall. Did you? Know where that? did you say you saw Conan O'Brien's penis? I went out drinking. We went to yeah, where? Bar. What? Where? What What's place? the bar? Right by Lincoln Center. They got all those really nice bars. Those really fancy. You ever drink by Lincoln Center? Do you go to the I've bars? Drunk, I've had a drink everywhere in this. Oh, you yeah. have. <laughs> Are you a big drinker? Are you, uh, no, you... I'm not. I'm not a big drinker, but right. I, you know. Please. And when you go to the bathroom, do you use the urinal or do you use a stall? I usually uh, use the stall. I right, because you're famous. And, and you... Exactly. You don't want people like you know Me eyeing too. your penis. So right. Just but then I, when Frank was there, you know, it was different. <laughs> Let KC check it out and see if I'm lying. Oh yeah, right. Oh come on, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm not going to subject you anymore to Frank. It's ridiculous. Frank Thank you, Frank, though. He thought it was Conan. All right. Here is Joe. Go ahead, Ron Joe. Howard, yeah. Right. Joe, go ahead. Hey, uh, Conan, about uh, six, six months to a year ago, there there were some interns on uh, Howard's show. Saying right, that right. Basically, the interns got treated pretty bad over on your show. I just want right. to get your responses to that. <laughs> what about that? How well, do you treat the interns? Well, we heard about that, and the right. treating bad was occasionally they had to go get a bagel. Right. <laughs> it's like it's a college kid who uh, is, you know, trying to learn the business, so... But, yeah, we treat him pretty bad, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, actually, he banged them, and then he fired them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's part of our the, new sexual harassment Yeah, policy. wasn't that the story? Doug, go ahead. You're on with Conan O'Brien. Yeah, I can't believe that Fred North 
is such a loser that what? he would marry a dollar date. That he would marry a dollar date? Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, what about Conan Fred, O'Brien? Fred Toss is such a loser. Fred, do you feel like a loser? I'm sorry, Conan, this isn't about you. That's all right. I, I didn't it. until this guy called. Now I do. All right. So what is wrong with marrying a dial a day? And when did he just wake up and realize that? <laughs> what? Rip Van Winkle. It's, yeah. it's 1987. All right. Thank you. Joke on your show. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Howard, there's only one thing more humiliating, and that's being the mop boy at the, to the toss-up booth at Show World. What did he say? The mop-up boy at Show Have you ever been to Show World? Always nice to hear from the viewers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm getting depressed. All right, here is Rick. He claims he was your intern. Okay. Yeah. You were Conan's intern. Yeah, he was. And he's, he's completely rude and pathetic. Why do you say that? He, What's he, your full name, Rick? Rick Holloway. When were you an intern? Two years ago. Oh, you wouldn't remember. You could give a rat's ass about the intern. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, the truth comes out. Yeah. You sound as bitter as Lisa Kudrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> By the way, um, Ben Affleck is gay. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Well, he's gay with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. All right. What? Well, what? What? <laughs> Oh. All right, so you are not Conan's intern. No. All right, there you go. All right, here is Maylene. There's got to be a way to validate these things. <laughs> yeah. That's what would help the show, is a little more truth. Here is Maylene. I'm Maureen. Oh, Maureen. 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 Um, yes, the reason that Lisa Kudrow and Conan's relationship didn't work out is because Lisa Kudrow was raised Jewish. Conan's family is devout Catholics. Hmm. And they didn't like the fact that he was dating a Jew. I'll tell you the truth about that. That's actually very uh, interesting. Thank you. When I first met Lisa, which was in 1985, yes. uh, I was uh, interested in going out with her. And she was a little hesitant at first because... You're Irish friend, Catholic. Yeah, I'm Irish Catholic. Right. And uh, so we became friends. And then later on, uh, you know, she started to realize, like, I don't care about that. Right. And uh, so that's, that's actually the truth. Huh. Well, it's, she was just worried about it. She was there was no prejudice there. So wasn't right. your family really mad about the fact that you're? Oh no 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 my my family. Well, my girlfriend now is Jewish. I've been with her for five years. There goes that no, theory. Oh, that out theory. the window. Yeah, my parents Drink. just want to know that I'm not gay. And you're going to marry a Jewish girl now? Uh, he very, didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think. So how are you going to raise your kids? Oh. That's interesting. We black Muslim. About. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to go wait. Yeah, now, if you marry a holiday. Jewish girl, of course she, the, the children will be Jewish. You know that. They will be in the, uh, yes, in the eyes of... Uh, How do you feel Jewish living with a law. bunch of Jews in your house? Uh -oh. <laughs> Does that disturb you at all in the least? <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, that's got to be upsetting in some... It could be fun, I think. <laughs> you think? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see. Eddie, go ahead. Come on, one more question for Conan O'Brien. Hello? What is it, Eddie? Hey, it's Eddie from Brooklyn. How what's up? Hey. Yo, yo, King's Highway. All right, this is a rare opportunity to speak with the king of late night, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> yo, 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 King's you Highway. You put that in quotes. Oh, right. Thanks. Why not? You say it enough times, you become it. Sure. Go ahead. All I got to say is I know Lisa Kudrow personally from Boss Modeling when I was working for them. Yes. She told me he was nothing but a super dud, that guy. In bed. In bed. When, when he worked with her, where? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Irish was showing she, out on you. She him. said super what? Super dud in yeah. bed. Oh, you I know, don't believe this, that. All these testimonials have really enlightened. <laughs> well, Conan, we've learned nothing about you through this whole interview. No, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> the listeners. I'm sorry. Is there something you want to tell us, anything that is new in your life or something that would be revealing that I could uh, say that I got out of you in this give interview? A, a tidbit. That, uh, a tidbit. Is there anything? Ah, uh, man. Let me give you something good. Right. Uh, I got a dog. Oh, you huh? did? Yeah. What kind of dog? Golden Retriever. That's not a good dog. <laughs> That's that a great dog. A dog. I got a Labrador. Wait, there's a news flash. I have a tidbit. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. From the pages of the National Enquirer, Conan O'Brien, I use Preparation H on my face. Yeah. That's Why true. do you do that? Uh, <laughs> that is true? That's true, actually. You're occasionally. No, occasionally I get the big bags under the eyes when right. I'm working hard. And I didn't know it. They were applying. My makeup people were applying it under my eyes. And did it work? And they saw that I said it was a special ointment. <laughs> and it worked really well. It, what right. it does is it brings down the swelling. And after about three months of this, I said, this stuff is great. I got to get this stuff. What is it? And they said, it's not important. And I said, no, seriously, what is it? And they said, it's preparation age. Wow. And I realized that I'd been applying an ass cream to my face. <laughs> oh, no kidding. For, for three months on the air. <laughs> <laughs> now, are they allowed to do that to you without telling you? It would seem to me that that's a medical I'm, thing. I'm like Ted Knight. They just do things they to me. They just do stuff. Yeah, right. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they just did stuff to Ted Knight. Really? Yeah. All right. Um, so, so there it is. That is a bit of a revelation. It's small, but... What music are you listening to now? What is your favorite band? Well, we just had the Black Crows on. I, re I love the Black Crows. You like the Black Crows? Yeah, I really like that, that band. And I'm also a rockabilly guy, so mm -hmm. I was into...
that kind of stuff. I'm not going to hang out with you. Oh. All right. So, uh, <laughs> really, I thought we'd be hanging out more. For sure. Yeah. No, Conan, it's always great seeing you. Thank you, Howard. Thank I mean, you for not answering any questions. That's right. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. You get Lisa to call in or anything. And you will come on? And then I will come on and we'll straighten this out. All right. Guarantee it, I can make that happen. And then that we'll straighten this whole you thing. You feel uncomfortable. I understand. You feel uncomfortable you know talking I'm a, about it. I'm, I'm a gentleman. Right. Uh, I believe in the old ways. Okay. Call me old-fashioned, <laughs> but admire me secretly. Right. So <laughs> you will talk about your sex life, provided the woman wants to talk about it. Exactly. I understand. Conan O'Brien, every night on NBC at 1230. Thanks, Conan. Thanks a lot, Howard. All right. Hey, Conan. All right. We'll see you. Take it easy. So, Conan, you're expecting a little phone call from Lisa today? What do you think is going to happen? I better get a call, yeah. You think she's going to be upset? I need, the, I need the... What's the matter? You think she's going to be upset? Upset about what? About what you were talking about today on the air. I, I think I did well. You think, think you I kept my mouth shut? Didn't I say anything? honorable? Didn't give anything away? That's the important... <laughs>